Hello everyone and welcome to our Bad Company 2 Let's Play. Today we continue our adventure with Upriver. Up there. Tango at 12 o'clock. Wait for the thunder. Far one ready. There we go. Good job, buddy. Two more near the officers. Wait for them to get clear. Far one ready. Area clear. Alrighty boys, let's actually regroup with our unit here. We were pretty successful that time around of getting those guys taken out of commission. Obviously, we had kind of a little bit of a problem there for a brief moment. I thought we were going to be able to kind of pierce two guys with one round. Unfortunately, not a high enough caliber of a round in order to kind of pierce through the first guy. I think it's probably because we probably were aiming a little too much into that body armor. So I think the body armor actually absorbed a lot of the damage there. Here's something I'm wondering. Who the hell goes war in cowboy hats? Uh, cowboy? Cowboys haven't been in a war for over a hundred years. Dallas Cowboys go to war every Sunday. Sometimes Monday. Let's just find a wire, okay? Hold up, hold up. Trip wire. Shit. How did you see that? My spidey senses were tingling. Thanks. Thanks, Hags. Look, I wasn't raised in a suburb here, freaking mall rat. All right, this trap's disarmed. Good work, Marlo. So we were successful at getting rid of that actual mine system that was there. That tripwire would have created a lot of problems for us. I mean, obviously, I kind of really want my legs at the end of the day. And a tripwire like that definitely would take out your legs. Now, of course, we do have one that's right in front of us. Going to slowly creep up to that. We're able to successfully get rid of that. Now, it is going to be interesting to see if we're going to have any enemy combatants somewhere nearby. Let's see if we can't stick a little bit off the beating path. It seems to be working pretty well for us thus far. We do have a little bit of vegetation up here, so this could potentially be very useful. Once again, slowly creeping our way to victory. There's no reason to rush in here nilly-willy. 
course, I'm going to try to go around this fence here. Things are looking pretty good. Let's see if we can't hug this just a little bit more. Maybe potentially bypass where some of these guys are at. I haven't seen anybody just yet, but I feel like our luck is about to change here relatively quickly. I think I might hear a guy in this building. Uh, nope, but there's probably a guy nearby. Squad mates are continuing to move up, so that's typically a good sign that things are probably okay. Let's actually rally back up with them. Well, obviously we created a lot of noise there. It's probably a good safe bet that somebody probably heard that. That's a long way down, huh? Okay. Just a rock. I'm fine. It's cool. Hmm. I dug in here like an Alabama tick. Towel over there. And then that one. Alright. We're gonna lay down a base of fire. Best man is to go straight. Jump down into that river bed over there. And we pin him down. Then you hit him from the side. Alrighty, we were able to successfully take them out of commission here. Obviously, we were able to kind of get rid of quite a bit of guys. There was a little bit of fire over in this general direction here. Trying to locate the guy. It looks like he's actually right over there. And overall, things are looking pretty good for us. I would say that we were probably pretty successful this time around. Now, of course, let's see if we can't actually venture down here, join our squad mates for a few moments. And then we're, I think we're actually going to end up heading down into this riverbed. Things are looking all right, so we're going to slowly drop down there. All right, let's take some cover here for a brief moment. Looks like there's a guy in that general area over there, so obviously just going to kind of pepper the foliage over there. Things are looking all right. Obviously, this guy came back out to play. He probably should have just stayed down, to be honest with you. But, of course, we're going to get a quick little frag grenade over there real fast. Obviously going to be continuing to look up here and seeing what kind of new adventures... Might be jumping down into our little bed over here. Looks like we have quite a bit of guys up ahead. So obviously going to try to crouch our way. Mr. Cowboy obviously did not get the memo that white does not blend in particularly well in this general area. Let's get another frag grenade up there just in case. Let's actually double time it through this riverbed real quick. So that way we can try to get ourselves out of a sticky predicament. Well, there's somebody shooting at something, but not quite seeing anything just yet. Once again, going to try to crouch our way over here. Looks like uh, we're actually making quite a mess here at the moment. So let's actually jump all the way up here, see if we can't utilize this window maybe to our benefit. Overall, things are looking pretty good, so not seeing anything too crazy. However, let's see if we can't venture a little further out here. Have that dude eat that frag grenade and see how much he likes shooting at us. Ooh, that was a very good shot there. Let's actually double time it up to these rocks here, considering that we are definitely going to be exposed for a few moments here. Shit. 
Enemy infantry. Over on the other side. Look out! Russian choppers, man, they shouldn't be here. Well, somebody sent them. We attack on your signal. Light those guys up. Alrighty, well at the moment I'm trying to locate these guys. Obviously we got a couple over on the bridge over here, so uh any mini miny mo. Unsure if there was maybe another guy over there. Our squad mates are definitely pushed up here. Fortunately, we almost caught that guy, but unfortunately no cigar. Once again, I'm gonna kind of uh discriminate and take out that cowboy there because uh obviously i don't quite like his hat so taking that guy out of commission maybe another guy in this general area somewhere over here obviously we actually need to move up just a little bit considering that while the sniper is incredibly efficient it is a little tricky to kind of see things especially when you got a nice big old bush right in your face All right, we're definitely in some CQB action here. Get a frag grenade over there real quick, just in case somebody comes out to play. Looks like we do have a gentleman over there trying to utilize those sandbags. And then, obviously, we got a little uh, small nest of guys up here. Taking those guys out of commission here real quick. Looks like we do have a very fine gentleman with a noob tube launcher. Squad mates are continuing to push up here. Obviously, we're getting a little bit pinned down. Potentially, there might be an LMG. We're actually going to go for a little bit of a flank here. Obviously, in just a few moments, going to be taking this left-hand turn. And it is looking like things are so far pretty clear. Obviously, I'm guessing that this is probably going to change pretty quickly. Did quickly take those guys out of commission, but kind of put ourselves in a predicament here at the moment actually go for a little bit of a crouch here considering that I want to see if we can't happen to get these guys off this MG unit. At the moment, trying to do a little bit of flanking here, so that way we can try to take out some of the guys that are actually having some difficulty at the moment. Quite a bit of vegetation over here, so obviously this is going to be a little tricky, but once we jump all the way up here, we should be looking pretty good. Once again, going to get another quick little frag grenade over there just in case, kind of clear that area up. Obviously, we got our squad mates moving up, so that's probably a pretty good indication that we're looking pretty good at the moment. All right, let's get a brand new fresh magazine in real quick. Squad mates are here with us, so obviously we're looking pretty good. That dude actually got some really good shots on target there. That dude tried to get an MG mounted, so obviously we were definitely not going to be allowing that to happen. I'm actually going to try to push up a little bit on this left-hand side here. Looks like we're going to be able to mow these guys down relatively easily. We definitely need to continue to be continuing to move up here. 
We don't want to kind of be stagnant by any stretch. Let's actually switch things up a little bit, take over the right-hand side this time around, see if anything comes over here. Looking pretty clear, so it looks like we're moving really close to a compound up there. He's over there! All right, so far we have one shot into it. Obviously trying to stick back just a little bit here, but this uh, vehicle is creating a lot of problems for us. But unfortunately for the vehicle, we're actually too powerful. All right, so that guy is trying to be extracted at the moment. So obviously we need to continue to move up here so that this chopper can't create any problems. Major Aguirre. Gun. Damn. No problem. We're square. Sir, Braid Wood sent us. We have something to show you. All right, then show it to me. Braidwood said it was a fake. Yeah, of course it's a fake. I told him it'd be a fake, Christ. They wouldn't just move the actual weapon there. We knew that already. We did? Thanks. All right, so a couple of months back, we set up a relay off an old French weather satellite, hook into this Georgian mill net, found out plenty. The dummy weapon was just part of it. Then these guys showed up. They got all your intel? Yeah. No backups? Where? 